Okay, so again continue with the your MOSFET basics. So this is just a recap of MOSFET operation. The MOSFET consists of uh, three terminals. The first, the fourth terminal is the substrate, which is not specified in this uh, symbol. Now gate to source voltage is VG, but drain to source voltage is made as zero here. For a smaller gate voltages, you can see we have the depletion region. If the gate to source voltage slightly increased. So you're going to have the channel formation here as it is indicated in this figure C. So let us see now this uh, MOS IV characteristics, which has got two characteristics. One is ID versus VG, and other is ID versus VD. So we shall see in, in simulation how does the ID value varies for different values of uh, VG and VD. So this is the variation of ID uh, with respect to the uh, length of the transistor. If the length is in, if the length increases, naturally the ID will reduce because L is there in the uh, denominator part of the ID equation. So similarly, the thickness of the gate oxide also changes the drain current. So this is the uh, MOSFET ID equation in linear region. The MOSFET uh, predominantly operates in three different regions. One is a cutoff region where the gate to source voltage is less than the threshold voltage. Uh, other is a linear region where gate to source voltage is more than the threshold, but the drain to source voltage is less, less than V G S minus V T H. And uh, the third region is a saturation region where V G S is greater than V T H, but V D S is also a larger voltage. So this is uh, how does the pinch off will happen? Now uh, in, in, in the first uh, uh, cross section view, you can see the VGS is applied as well as VDS is also applied. So this is uh, the VDS is uh, slightly lesser, but you can see this uh, because of depletion region creation. So the channel is keep on varying in its uh, dimension. So here over here you can see it is pinched off. So this is this will happen when Drain to source voltage is equal to VGS minus VTH. If the voltage is further increased, the depletion region and the drain side is going to widen such that the channel will pinch off and will not have the uh, physical existence of the channel. The free electrons which will come uh, near the drain uh, in, in the channel will be attracted towards the drain because of the higher drain voltage. So, this is how the uh, electrons which left the source will pass through the channel. Will come close to the drain and they'll be get uh, jumping to the drain region. So you, due to the high polarity at the drain side. So this is the uh, saturation uh, equation where ID is given by half into U and C ox W into L EGS minus U case whole square. Now predominantly. When the MOSFET is operating in saturation region, as you can see, it is uh, the voltage is constant. So the demarcation from the triode region and saturation region with respect to VDS is when the VDS is less than VGS minus VTH, it's operating in the triode region. If the VDS value, the drain to source voltage is more than this magnitude, then it is called as operating in the saturation region. The expression for the drain current is given by of mu and c ox w by l vgs minus v t whole square so in saturation region as we know that uh, the current is simply constant a mosfet is represented as a current source when it is operating in saturation region so whereas in triode region since the current is not constant it cannot be represented as a current source a mosfet can be represented as a current source only when it is operated in saturated region so what do we mean by uh, a MOSFET operated in saturated region? First thing is that uh, gate to source voltage should be greater than VTH and drain to source voltage should be greater than VGS minus VTH. So if these two conditions are satisfied, we are going to see the MOSFET operating in saturation region. So we shall proceed to the simulation and try to verify the operation of the MOSFET in both linear region as well as the saturation region. So proceed with the simulation. So as, as we have seen in the previous slide, previous uh, video, so we have the MOSFET uh, 
uh, with dimensions as a length is equal to 10 micron, width is equal to 100 micrometers, where W bell happens to be 10, and Kp, which was represented as mu n into C of is uh, 200 micro ampere per old square. So you are supposed to write only 200 micro and the threshold voltage VTH which is now represented in the model as VT is equal to 0 0.4 volt. Now as we can see now the gate to source voltage is uh, 0.8 which is more than 0.4 so now the MOSFET should be in on condition. Now we can see we have uh, VDS the drain to source voltage is 0.2 volts which is uh, certainly less than uh, VGS minus VTH. Since VGS is 0.8, VTH is 0.4, so VGS minus VTH is happens to be 0.4, but uh, VDS is less than that. Now the MOSFET is operating in linear region. So let us uh, simulate this and uh, see what is the current. Now to do that, let us do only uh, dot op command, which will give the operating uh, conditions. It will give all DC voltages and currents. So let me do only the dot op and run this so as you can see here so there are two sources 0 0.8 point uh, 2 and 0 0.8 so there is a uh, id which is due to of course which is flowing to m1 so ig the gate uh, current is zero the bulk current is uh, almost zero now it is in the power of minus 13 the is uh, the source current so naturally whatever current flows in the drain will be the uh, same in the source also. Now, since uh, the MOSFET is operating in linear region, as per the calculation, the current happens to be 120 microfarad, so which is now exactly being represented as 0 0.000 and 12 amperes, so which happens to be 120 microampere. So, let me uh, redo the simulation by keeping the VGS less than uh, 0.4 let me make it as 0.1 old and let us try to find out how does the id looks like now we can see id is uh, very very small now we have vgs which is uh, the representation of this v1 source which is connected between the node number 2 and node number uh, ground node so i have only 0.1 old actually the mosfet is in on off condition so which is now represented by a drain current of 4 into 10 power minus 13 amperes meaning that MOSFET is almost uh, in off condition. Now this is how we can uh, see that since the VGS is less than threshold voltage the MOSFET is in off condition. Let us also verify for one such condition where the MOSFET is in uh, saturation condition. So for that let me have this uh, VGS greater than the threshold voltage let me make it as 0.8. Let me make uh, the VDS greater than VGS minus VTH. So VGS minus VTH happens to be 0 0.4. Let me make it as 0 0.8. So the condition what is satisfied now here is the VGS is greater than threshold voltage. VDS is more than VGS minus VTH. So that is uh, we thought of having this condition. This is VGS minus VTH. So I am operating somewhere here, this is the value of VDS, the VGS uh, is also 0 0.4. So let us uh, do the simulation and see. So as per the equation, we are supposed to get 160 microamperes of current. So let us see, are we getting 160 microamperes of current or not. So now we can see both are 0 0.8, 0 0.8. So this is corresponding to one is VDS, other is VGS. So since VGS is more than 0 0.4, it is on. VDS is also more than 0.4, now it is in saturation region. Uh, as per the equation, so we are supposed to get 160 microampere, we are getting exactly 160 microampere here. So now, uh, how do we get a graph which is being indicated as over here? So you can see now we are having a graph uh, uh, for ID versus uh, different values of VDS for a given value of VGS. Now there is a VGS uh, uh, constant and you are varying the value of VDS from 0 to a certain voltage. So let us do, uh, let us try to get the similar type of graph during the, while doing the simulation. So for that we are supposed to uh, do this uh, DC sweep, let me select this DC sweep 
the voltage I want to keep constant is uh, the VGS, which will be 0.8. Let me vary uh, the VDS, which is now the source V2. Let me select the source V2 and linearly vary it from 0 to uh, maybe 1.2 volt in steps of in steps of uh, 0.01 volt. Now I am just varying the voltage now, the drain to source voltage starting from 0 to 1.2 volt in steps of 0 0.01 for a constant value of video. So let us see how does the simulation look like. So let me just pick out this. So I am interested in seeing the drain current. So let me add a trace which will have on the y axis. So I can see the x axis now uh, 0 to 1.2, which is the representation of VDS. So that's what we are expected. So this is what we are expecting. So VDS is 0 to 1.2 now. So let us see what is the ID plot. So let me plot, uh, let me add a trace which is corresponding to the drain current. So this is ID. And see exactly it is the plot. So now you can see the current is uh, linearly increasing. Now ultimately it saturates, it saturates around 0.4 volts. So this is what uh, we meant for the region uh, separating see here. So this is a voltage where it is 0.4. So here it is 400 millivolt. Now the vertical uh, indicates it is 160 microampere. So when the current in the VDS is equal to 0 0.4 volts, the current saturates. Now, in this region, MOSFET is acting like a uh, current source. Over here, the MOSFET is acting like a resistor because now, as the voltage increases, current is increasing. But here, as the voltage increases, current remains constant. That's why MOSFET is operated as a. So, as we saw here, the MOSFET is operated look like a current source when it is operated in saturation field. We got exactly the same uh, characteristics for a particular value of VGS, whereas the value of VDS is, VDS is varied from 0 to 1.2 volts. So we can get a family of curves like this for different values of VGS so that we just try out in this simulation. So let us again uh, redo that simulation by changing the value of VGS also. So let us do the nested sweep where you are sweeping two parameters. One is uh, the source uh, uh, will take source V2 as well as V1. So let me source, let me uh, sweep the source V1 linearly. So let me start from uh, 0 volt up to maybe 1.2 volts in steps of maybe 0 0.4 volts. So this is now if you simulate, we are going to have 3 to 4 graphs corresponding to now we have this is for different values of id so sorry different values of vgs so as we can see now so this is keep changing so let me take the cursor now onto this now the now this is the least value of vgs where it was zero now if you actually say this the variation is from zero to one point two instead of point four so first value of uh, VGS is 0 volt, so where MOSFET is on 0 0.4, where again the MOSFET is uh, just on, just uh, uh, it, it is just this so starting, then it is 0.8, then it is uh, 1.2. For 0 and 0.6, sorry 0 and 0.4, we have almost zero current. Now for the MOSFET to be on, we have to have a voltage more than VTH. It is not sufficient that you keep 0.4 volt to be more than 0.4. So naturally this happens to be 1.2 volts. This is 0.8 volts. So 0 volt and 0.4 volt are having a current of 0. We can also observe one more thing. The current is saturating at around uh, this voltage. Now this is almost around uh, this is 600 or 800 millivolts where the current is get saturated which is VGS minus VTH now here it is saturating at around 400 millivolts so this is VGS minus VTH that is 1.8 minus so this is 1.2 minus 
0.4 is 0.8 that is 800 micro 800 millivolts 